Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Chanel. And I'm Samari. And you're watching The Hill Morning News. Hey Hawks, today you're here with AJ, Yay. Isaiah, and this weekend on Saturday, just September 24th, we have a game at San Bernardino Valley College. At 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 2 p.m. Come support. Bye Hawks. Hey Hawks, I'm McKinley and I'm here with? Jay. And I'm going to interview you about basketball today. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been in basketball for? I came out to you know, been hooping. I What made you join basketball? I first shot the ball, felt the touch, it went in, you know, I was like, Play basketball. Since then, I've been rooting. Come on now. How do you feel about this year's season? I feel like as long as we play hard, the chemistry's in there. We've been working since summer. We've been working real hard. We're painting and sweat. And, you know, that's when it pay off for, I think, coaches and my teammates for working hard. And I'm ready for this season to be good. All right. Good job. Hey, Hawks. I'm Clarice. And in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm going to be talking to you about Diego Maradona. He was an Argentinian soccer player known as one of the best to ever play the game. He was known for his vision, ball control, and dribbling skills combined with his small stature of 5'5". Five five. He had an amazing talent and was given the nickname the Golden Boy, which stuck with him throughout his career. He was born on October 10, 1960 in La Nuz, Argentina. He is most famous for his time in Napoli. He is most recognizable for playing in the Argentinian national team and being one of or the best player for the team. He made 91 appearances with 34 goals. He played in four World Cups, especially in the 1986 World Cup held in Mexico. He captained the team and led them to their second World Cup trophy of all time. Unfortunately, he passed away on November 25th, 2020. He is remembered as one of the best players and an Argentinian hero. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Madison. And I'm Giselle. And we're both part of the ASB program, and we just wanted to let you guys know about the Spirit Week next week. Monday will be Monochromatic Monday. Tuesday is Trainwreck Tuesday. Wednesday is White Lie Wednesday. And Thursday is Teddy Bear Thursday. Friday is your class colors and we also have a rally. So make sure you guys are wearing your class colors. Seniors, you guys are burgundy. Juniors are green, sophomores pink, and freshmen yellow. And also on Saturday, we have our homecoming dance at 5 p.m. The theme is carnival slash circus. So make sure you guys um, get your permission slips and We'll see you there. Yeah, we'll Bye, Hawks. Bye. <laughs> hey, Hawks, I'm McKinley. I'm here to interview the FSA program here at Citrus Hill High School. I'm here with Alexis. Why is FFA important to you? FFA is important to me because I've always loved animals and they offer vet science and that's something that I really want to do. How can you get an animal? Once you're in an ad class and you're in FFA, you can ask one of the teachers if you could do a project. What is your favorite part of FFA? My favorite part of FFA is getting to see the goats and bunnies every day and getting to take care of them. Thank you so much. I'm here with Jane. What is the purpose of FFA? Uh, the purpose of FFA is to teach ch uh, people how to uh, do agriculture, like growing plants, uh, aquaponics. There's also raising animals, uh, stepping up to be leaders. FFA is good for all sorts of things. What things can you do in FFA? Um, you can raise animals, like the lamb here, her name is Paul. And um, there's also pigs, there's, uh, you could do, the livestock is like uh, animals like this, like sheep and pigs and goats. You could also do um, rabbits. And then we all take those animals to the SoCal Fair and the Indio Fair. Um, most of the time, that's one of the main parts of FFA, I think, for me, but there's also aquaponics, you could grow plants, uh, there's also, you go to meetings, uh, leadership, 
<laughs> There's all sorts of things you could do in FFA. And then what is FFA? FFA is the Future Farmers of America. They really, it's again, teaching leadership and um, agriculture. So it gives us real life skills and ways to, um, that we can apply it into real life afterwards. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm McKinley, I'm here with Maggie. How do you join a FFA? Uh, so basically you have to be enrolled in an ag class or you could talk to Ms. Mittermeier or Ms. Robluski and discuss your situation. Who can we talk to in FFA? Uh, that's going to be Ms. Mittermeier and Ms. Robluski, uh, room 227 or room 224. Thank you. Hey, hey Hogs, my name's Sabrina. And my name's Paulina. And we're from Maverick Council. And we're here to invite you to the College Fair, which will be on September 29th from 5 to 7 p.m. located at the gym. Make sure you bring your whole families. Students can earn two hours of community service just for attending. There's going to be over 30 colleges, including military, to choose from. Thank you and have a good day. Bye, Bye Hogs. Hawks. And this has been the Hill Morning News. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, Hawks.